YouTube, Lombax Love Affair here with another contest video submission, this time for games. Games. So, games' page for me is a little hard to find because, um, games, my man, your name is just so um, succinct that a lot of things come up when you search. So, I'm going to put the link in uh, the information below so that uh, everyone could find him, sub him up, and uh, and, and make that happen. So he's got a pretty cool page. He's doing some more videos, which I love. Um, I remember when you only had uh, maybe four videos uh, when I started. So uh, this contest submission uh, is focused on dollar fines or less. And I have a bunch of those. Um, so I'm going to actually combine this with a new comic haul that I, that I just had uh, in the past two days uh, that were all dollar fines uh, from Craigslist and from an LCS. And then I'm also going to show off some books that I found for free uh, last weekend, the weekend before, uh, that um, just blew my mind. And I've, I've, I've posted those before in my epic blind box video, but it's a long video, it's about 30 minutes or less, um, but not everyone might have gone through that yet. If you haven't, check it out, it's pretty cool. Uh, but right now, I'm going to show off these dollar book finds. So, uh, these were from an LCS that just has uh, some random dollar books. So I got the Rise of Apocalypse, number one. This was pretty big during the movie uh, when uh, X-Men uh, Age of Apocalypse came out. Uh, Superior Spider-Man, this is number 22. And this is uh, with uh, Venom coming in uh, against the Doc Ock Spidey. And it's cool, I think it's Ramos artwork, yep. Uh, and uh, his stuff is, is always really fun and animated. And number 23. Sorry about the glare again. I'm trying to get good lighting in here and it just doesn't always work. So I just love that with the Flash Thompson um, Venom separating from him. Cool cover. Uh, also picked up, first time I've ever seen this in the wild, X Infernus number 4, the variant cover with magic. I know a lot of you have been showing that. It's not my cup of tea, but I'm keeping this as... Um, you know, probably for a contest that I'm going to run soon. Uh, Deadpool Cable, number 25, for a buck, you know, why not? And those are from the LCS. The next uh, grouping of books is um, 16 books that I got for a dollar each uh, off of Craigslist. And this is a guy who sh does different comic book shows, but he had a, a dollar, dollar books he was advertising. I was hoping to find some diamonds in the rough. Um, I think I did. Uh, nothing terribly crazy. Uh, he's a dealer, so he knows what he has. Not that I was looking to gouge anyone, um, but it's always fun to find a, a stealth deal, which um, I don't know if I did or not. You can tell me. So Power Pack 27. This is with Sabretooth. Uh, this was a, a, a hot book to find. It's an early Sabretooth, I believe. Um, you know, it goes for maybe about five bucks now, but I think back in the day, I think it was like 10 or 15. Phoenix and Song, number one. This is a limited edition variant, and it's got the, the, the green cover, the green costume. Uh, I think typically the costume was red uh, for Dark Phoenix. So the blue, or the green costume here, uh, Phoenix's original color, I think it's pretty cool. So I picked that up. Um, and also number five with the green phoenix there, which was a limited edition. I don't know how limited. Uh, I think it's not that crazy. This one I had to look up a little bit. Exo Man Award number zero. I'm a big Valiant fan. Um, and he, the only reason I paused at this is that uh, the dealer had a whole bunch of these in, in a stack. And this one was discolored. And I was like, is that just a, uh, a different, um, is it faded? Was it in a window or sunlight? Um, but it's it's the it's ivory versus stark white, and you can see it more if you compare it with other exos. Um, but apparently this was a an error or a misprint variant, so this fetches a, a bit of money on eBay. It seems I don't know if it would actually sell at that, but I, I picked it up um, because I love being the finder of all things valiant that are hard to find. Um, picked this on a whim. New 52, number 12, this is the first new Isis, I believe, that character. Let's see, 
powers, number one. But number one issue is always good, and it seems to be one that's not readily available out there. Picked up Power Pack, number one. This seems to be getting some uh, spec value out there. Um, for a buck, and there may be a movie or TV show. I haven't been staying up to it on, uh, completely, so maybe someone can tell me about that. But Power Pack, number one. And I'm a big fan of Hellboy, so Dark Horse Presents number eight, uh, where they had, I think this is the Wolves storyline in, in Dark Horse Presents. So excited about that. And then 89. So two of those issues. I was surprised to see those there, actually. Peter Parker, Spider-Man number 44, The Return of the Green Goblin. I think that's just a key goblin story to have. Bought another copy of the Snowblind. Um, so this is the first vengeance as a in human form before he turns into that character. So surprised to see this one too. X Men Eight, first Belladonna, uh, Gambit's wife, I think if I remember correctly. Cool Jim Lee cover, awesome book, uh, and spec about Belladonna being in the Gambit movie. Right. Uh, Infinity War number one. Dollar. I love the, the Ron Lim artwork, Jim Starlin characters. I don't remember if Jim Starlin wrote this, but um, always a big fan of the Infinity War, Infinity Gauntlet. Not so much the Infinity Crusade and anything else that followed. Another copy of Atlantis Attacks number one, or I'm sorry, New Mutants Annual number five, Jim Lee art. Uh, this might have been one of his first art on uh, New Mutants. And then these were cool to find. Long shot number five and long shot number six. So those were all a dollar, which uh, always excited to find dollar books that are of substance rather than the same old schlock. Um, and so now I wanna just show off again some of the free books that I found just cause they're so insane. And these are the, the ones that I just think are, are key. So X-Men 282, first appearance of Bishop. X-Men 268, 267. Second appearance of Gambit. New Mutants 86, cameo of Cable. This is just another Jim Lee, or I'm sorry, Rob Leefield artwork. First Jim Lee artwork, that's why I said his name, 248, another copy of that, where they kill Storm. X Factor 5, cameo of Apocalypse, and 6. Remember, these are all free. This was free. 87. New Moon's 87. Crazy. 266. Free. 98. Free. And the condition of these is crazy. Like, I think I can get a 9.8 on this. 256. Uncanny X-Men. Psylocke. Love it. A favorite of mine, X-Men Annual 4, cameo of, of Gambit. Disputed whether this is his first appearance or the other one, but this is just a, a couple of uh, panels. And X-Factor 24. All those were free. And um, I'm really grateful. And <laughs> brings a tear to my eye. <laughs> it's just, it's amazing to find deals like that. Doesn't happen every day. So, Games, my man, uh, congratulations, awesome contest. It really uh, fit, fit well within my video schedule to put out some dollar books um, since I just found some the, the past two days. So congratulations, man, uh, and looking forward to seeing more of what you do. So if you haven't subscribed to Games, subscribe to him, check out the information below. If you haven't subscribed to me, just click that button and uh, see what, what more I have going on. So. Uh, Lots more contests coming up, so I have a bunch more videos to, to shoot for that. So uh, everyone, have a good one.